today is the last and final day of my 100 days shopping man. As you probably might know already, I shared a video right at the beginning of the ban telling you what my intentions with the shopping ban were and what was it about. And also I shared a halfway point uh, update, so right on day 50, uh, just to tell you how the ban was going up to that point. I think that what I shared in the update is still pretty accurate, even today. Uh, overall, the ban went pretty good, being my first time doing it, so I think I did pretty well. I managed to buy, in total, zero things, um, aside four, two things that absolutely couldn't be avoided. Like I mentioned, everything that was broken or sort of couldn't be fixed and needed to be replaced, I was willing to buy it, despite the shopping ban. So, uh, Babe and I managed to literally break into pieces the knives that we were using the most in the kitchen. So we went ahead and we purchased a set of three that hopefully will be of a better quality and will certainly make for the old ones. And also two new sets of bed sheets because um, one of them was sort of quite old and was starting to look really worn out and it was sort of uncomfortable and not really pleasant uh, anymore to sleep in it. So we're going to repurpose that for other things here in the house, but we have two new sets of fresh and new sheets. Other than that, um, everything went great. I purchased nothing else. And uh, I think I'm going to extend the eating out portion for the exact same reasons I shared in the update video until our holiday to Bali, which happens in two weeks and I'm really excited. Our old Ben went pretty good, like I said, and I feel really positive about it. So positive that I'm thinking to already make a new one anytime soon, probably beginning of next year for a longer period of time, maybe six months or so. In today's video, I want to share with you all of the benefits that I personally found and experienced during this ban and thanks to this ban. And these are all reasons why I encourage you all to start your shopping your shopping ban if you haven't already or to try it at least once. So number one is probably the most obvious but also really important, which is to save more money than the money that we would have saved on a regular basis. Uh, we can be the most careful consumers, but there is always something that we can temporarily put on hold in order to reach a specific financial goal that we have in mind or to save enough for a planned expense. Number two, extend the life of what you already have. Um, when you put yourself into a shopping ban, you learn how to get more use out of the things you have already and to work with what you already have. And this automatically extends the life of your possessions. So to make you a small example, exactly when I started the ban, um, my Apple earphones started to sort of not work that great anymore. From the left side, I cannot hear that much. Um, anymore. So I thought that I had to go ahead and buy a new pair. But I gave myself some time and I put it um, on my list and waited. I said, okay, Jen, you don't actually need to buy them right now because they're still working. So wait up to the point until they're broken and then you can eventually replace them. Well, it turns out that more than three months later, here I am still with my Apple earphones, which are still working. Maybe not in the greatest way, but it's fine for me anyway. Number three, finding alternative solutions to shopping. We can swap, we can borrow, we can DIY, we can repair what can be fixed, and this is a huge one. We can learn to do without or do otherwise. Just because we need something, it doesn't always mean that we need to go and buy it. We can get creative and find an alternative solution to it. Number four, feel more contentment. Putting yourself into a shopping bin is a great way to appreciate what you have already way more than you would normally do and to feel overall more content and grateful for all of the great things you have already in your life. Number five, enjoy the simple pleasures that life has to offer. Sometimes we tend to forget that the simplest tiniest things in life are also the most enjoyable ones. Um, we are sometimes so used to spend money over things or to consider that you need to spend money in order to do something 
um, amazing or something fun or something rewarding, but this is not necessarily true. I mean, I love going to concerts and going on travels, but I obviously don't do this all the time. Um, so it's good to find this small little things that brighten up your day that are not small indeed they can be huge and they can make a huge difference if you when you put yourself into a shopping ban it automatically means that you have to work with less money and this means that you get creative and you find more ways better ways to brighten up your day to feel happier and to feel more content like i already said so it might be really the simplest tiniest things but these are not necessarily less important. It can be having breakfast in bed on a Sunday. It can be lingering 10 minutes uh, more um, whilst drinking your coffee. You find the things that are more meaningful to you and really enhance those. Find ways to make those things important. And finally, last but not least, this is also quite important. Um, one of the purposes of a shopping ban is to realize what are the things that we actually need to buy and that we actually have to replace or to add into our life. Whilst doing the shopping ban, you can definitely make yourself a list and note down anything that pops into your mind that you are willing eventually to incorporate into your life or to replace or you name it. And then wait for the ban to be over and once the band will be over, you will definitely be able to tell with confidence which are the things on that list that you can totally forget about because you can live without, like I said, or that are important for you to invest in. I personally made this during the whole process and I found this list to be extremely important because I realized that half of the stuff that was in the list wasn't absolutely necessary for me to buy so I can do otherwise and I realized that there are some gaps especially in my wardrobe and I made a blog post about it which I'm going to link below which my with my sort of fall winter wish list um some gaps like I was saying that definitely need need to be filled in so um making a list over during the whole process is definitely going to make you understand way better which are the things that you can um, do without and which are the things that you need to invest in once the ban will be over okay so these are all of the benefits and the reasons why i uh, feel great about shopping ban why i will do a shopping ban anytime soon in the future and why I encourage all of you to do a shopping ban at least once. I know that a lot of you were in a shopping ban whilst I was doing it, so I'm curious to hear how it went for you, how is it going if you're still on it, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. Uh, if you want to know what I'm up to, you can check out my Instagram and my blog, you will find the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.